Hello everyone, it's Chloe here. Welcome back to my channel. And first of all, <laughs> I just want to apologize for the lighting in this video. It's not the worst lighting in the world, but it's also not the best. My blind is half down right now because it is 40 degrees today. So I am not putting my blind up and I'm going to burn to a crisp if I do that. So I'm going to leave it down and the lighting isn't the best, but we're going to do what we have. I just wanted to disclaim that before we actually start this video, but if you've already seen the title, you guys already know. So it's going to be part two on my Colourpop Makeup Rainbow Series. I don't even know what I'm calling it yet, but today is going to be orange, hence why I'm wearing orange. But today's palette is going to be Orange You Glad, and I'm so excited for this because if you have blue eyes, I really do hope that you know that orange eyeshadow looks so good on blue-eyed people. So I'm really, really excited for this. This is what it looks like. I'll show you up close a little bit later. But I'm not sure what look I'm going to do because I'm actually really scared to do this series because I'm, I'm pretty sure that all my looks are the exact same, if you think about it it's always like a crease and then i cut it and put a lid shade on it's very rare for me to do a different look than that because i don't really know what to do because i'm so safe with that i don't know maybe i'll do something spectacular today for orange but again like i said in the red tutorial it is going to be fairly similar to all the other ones i will do in the series let's move on to the tutorial so if you want to know how i create whatever look i create just keep on watching <laughs> I'm gonna start off with my face obviously I've already primed off camera I used the elf putty poreless primer but all over my face I also cleaned my face and moisturized as soon as I got up this morning so my skin is all prepped and ready to go for foundation for foundation I don't really know what to use because I feel like I use the same foundation in every video I'm actually gonna use this bad boy now I used in a video and it was really really hard to blend because it was drying so quickly but this is the revolution conceal and define full coverage foundation I haven't used this in a hot minute i really want to use it again i love the application of this and i just love the foundation but it just dries so quickly so i think i'm gonna do half my face and then blend it and then do the other half of my face i feel like that's gonna be a lot easier for me but we're gonna use this and i'm so excited because i've heard such good things about it but i just don't really know how to work with it properly just because it does dries down fairly quickly you never know when it's gonna dry out you know i look crazy but i'm gonna blend this out and then i'm gonna do my forehead as well i feel like this is the best way to do this foundation just because for me anyway it does really dry quickly. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or what, but I don't know. This is really light for me though. Shit, this is light. Holy fudge cake. I never thought I'd have a really pale foundation. This is really pale. Okay, so I'm going to quickly put some on my forehead. Before I blend that out, I'm going to grab some Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my god, Tarte Shape Tape. And basically just add that everywhere that I can. Just to deepen this foundation up a little bit more. Because it is very, very white. Never thought I'd say that about a foundation. Because I'm pale as shit. But here we are. So I'm going to blend that out. It looks so white on camera. Trust me, it does match. Like, I look like James Charles right now. Wow, that looks terrible. It's a really nice foundation. I actually do like it. I just need to get another color. But I think it's actually a really nice foundation. Definitely doesn't dry as fast as I thought it used to. Let's do some concealer. I'm going to put on my ColourPop concealer. So this is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm in Fair 02. So I'm going to put that under my eyeballs, on my forehead, and my nose bridge. Bridge of my nose. I can't speak my chin and also my cupid's bow i'm gonna blend this out and hopefully we'll get a good base today i look so white in the camera oh my god i'm not this pale i never thought i'd say that in my life but I'm really not. Oakley doakley. So now that that's on, I am going to set my face. Now, I was going to use my air spun, but I recently went through my makeup and realized I still have the Jeffree Star loose powders. Now, I haven't used these since I did the review on it. If you want to see the review, I'll link it down below. It's just because I wasn't a massive fan because it did give me some flashback. But I think I'm going to mix this translucent one and the cream shade one, or the fair one, sorry, and make it my setting base powder thing i don't know what i'm talking about so this one's in translucent and this one's in fair if anyone's wondering but i'm gonna kind of mix them together and see what happens because i did find that the scent was very very strong so we have the translucent and the fair and i'm gonna use my beauty blender the end of it and grab those powders oh yep yeah, the scent's there still i don't remember if i like these or not like first impressions is first impressions right i look so bad and so obviously that just is what sticks with you when you do a review it's what you originally thought like for your first impression 
impression, obviously. But I haven't used it since, so I really want to see if my opinion changes or whatnot. I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. God, that scent. I just look crazy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and a lot of that powder and put it everywhere. Well, it looks really freaking good, not going to lie, but I'm not sure. <laughs> like, I feel like it's okay, but I'm still mixed about these. Basically, now, if you know my schedule and you know my routine of my makeup tutorials, you know that I'm going to do my eyebrows now. And I'm not going to do them on camera just because it takes me way too long, but I'm going to use the exact same products I use in my red tutorial, which is the Essence Brow Duo in medium and the ColourPop Brow Gel in dark brown. Give me a second, I'll put some brows on and maybe I won't look as pale. Welcome back. <laughs> I have eyebrows on, I'm out of focus, but my brows are on and I look not as pale. I'm going to start my eyeshadow. So I actually have no idea what to do. So the first step I'm going to do is do my P. Louise base because that's just what I do. This is in rumor zero, it's the white one. I'm literally just going to place it on my lid like so. So I'm going to blend that out with a Morphe flat shade brush, like always, and just make sure the whole eyelid's covered because I use eyeshadow on my entire lid space, so like it needs to be covered. So I'm going to use my concealer brush. Everyone keeps asking me about this. This is the Morphe 173. It's just a dome foot concealer brush. I use it to blend out my base just because I use a beauty blender for concealer. This is basically what the palette looks like, and this is what the inside looks like. So these are all the shades, if it focuses. I love orange. My holy grail is a 35O by Morphe. Oh, it's so good. So this is probably going to be my holy grail. I don't really know what to use. I really want to use Sunkissed, obviously. Like, hello. I think I might go in with Rise and Grind. Every time I think of Rise and Grind, I think of Cody Ko and Noelle. So I'm going to grab Rise and Grind, which is a deeper orange than all the rest because there's some nude colors in here as well. So I'm going to grab Rise and Grind on a Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush. This is the 34. Tap off a bit of the excess. Grab my little pig mirror. So if you're going to see this, I apologize. And I'm going to put that in in the crease. I don't know if I should do an orange here and an orange here. Is that going to look weird? Like a gradient of orange? Is that going to look weird? I think it might look weird. This is going to go on the outer corner of my crease or eyelid. That's nice. <laughs> then I'm going to grab a Morphe 433 and grab Mimosa Miami. Is that, am I reading that correctly? Which is kind of a reddy orange, which is going to look really weird next to this shade, I'm pretty sure. But we'll try our best, okay? So I'm going to put that literally right next to this shade. I think I screwed it up. I don't know if it's me or what but like the shadows don't blend the best together like they do but they don't like i've seen obviously a lot better shadows blend together i don't know if it's just me and my technique probably is let's be honest that looks more red to me i'm gonna blend it uh, trust me i'm gonna fix it don't worry i'm gonna grab a jaclyn hill brush number 32 and i'm gonna grab the sunlit kissed shade which is the very very bright orange and i'm gonna put that in my inner corner this is scary because I don't know if it's going to blend well. So I'm going to put that right there. Oh, that's my favorite shade already. This and a yellow shade would look sickening. But this goddamn color is gorgeous. This friggin' sun-kissed one. Oh my god, I'm in love. So I'm going to go back and forward basically using all the shades I used and like blend them up and make them all pretty. I don't even know what I used. So that's also freaking going to be fun to figure out. See, it looks patchy. Am I just going insane? I'm also focusing on the crease because I'm going to cut the lid. So it's not going to be a major deal but i am focusing this right in the crease and trying to blend them all together it looks like shit okay <laughs> i don't like it i'm gonna go morphe 441 which is my big fluffy buffer brush i'm gonna get a natural shade i'm gonna grab zested which is the lighter shade in this palette and i'm gonna blend the shit out of the edges of this bloody eye look because it looks crazy Someone's at my door. I think it's okay. It doesn't really look like multiple eyeshadow looks though. Like it doesn't, it doesn't look like multiple eyeshadows. Is that good enough? I think that's good enough, right? I think I'm now going to figure out what to put on my lid. Now I really, really want to use this chunky ass glitter, but I'm scared. The chunky ass glitter is called Clementine, which is fantastic. Hello. Where's the mail? <laughs> Yay! That's a weird ticket. Okay. It is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Okay. Hi! Sorry, my Louis Capaldi tickets came in the mail. <laughs> Sorry about it. Anyways, back to my video. <laughs> I'm very excited. If you didn't know, I got Louis Capaldi tickets for Christmas. And me and Gabby are going to go in January. And I'm so excited because Louis Capaldi is my favorite singer of all time. And I just got the tickets in the mail, so I'm like crying. Anyway, not the point. But this is basically <laughs> what the eye look is kind of looking like. I'm going to cut the crease, but I did just swatch this glittery shade. It's very thick. Like, it's very much glittered shade. I don't know if it's going to look good, though. I don't know. Ma I'll, okay, I'll cut the crease and then I'll decide because I think that 
that's kind of the point where I'm just like, if I should do it or not. So I'm going to grab the P. Louise base. I'm going to grab a shitty brush. I'm going to cut this crease. Now, this is just going to be like a time lapse type of deal because I cannot talk while doing this because I go insane. Like so. So that looks kind of cute. I'm going to grab a pencil brush. This is the 506 by Morphe. I'm going to grab my ears really itchy. I'm going to grab, what's it called? You peel me. <laughs> which is the darkest shade here. And I'm just going to blend out the edges like I did with the red look, just so it's not as harsh. I'm going to tap that and just blend it in. I think I have to add glitter glue. So I'm going to grab my NYX glitter glue. I haven't actually used this because I don't have glitters. I need to buy some glitters. So I'm just going to use my finger and basically put that where I put the P. Louise base. It looks a bit crazy. But I'm going to grab a packer brush, like a really dense slash shade brush, and grab the Clementine shade. And I'm going to be very careful with this because I don't think it's meant to be going on my eyes. And and put that just right on top now it's obviously kicked back in the pan like i said in the red one it's going to be kind of repetitive because i'm pretty sure these shadows are all the same like same formula and stuff so it's going to be pretty similar it's just obviously me seeing if there's any difference that looks sick though i'm not gonna lie i like that i like how i put the p louise down in the glitter glue because the p louise is acting like another base so i think i, I like that a lot i really do like this actually oh yes okay so i think this look needs eyeliner now i have a new eyeliner kind of to try um, and lovely company reached out to me. I can't pronounce the name properly, but I'll just show you. This is the company. This lovely company reached out to me and gifted me a lot of their new makeup products. This needs to focus on me now. And they gave me an eyeliner pen. Now, I usually use Jeffree Star Weirdo Lipstick all the time for eyeliner, but I really want to try this out because I think I can get a really good win with it. This is the super fine liquid eyeliner. Literally is a pen. And I'm going to wing it. That is very black. <laughs> That's a lot of eyeliner, but I like with this look, it needs it. This is a sick pen. If I can find a link to this, I'll leave it down below. Ignoring my lid because obviously the glitter is actually in the eyeliner, which I'll try and get out with tweezers. Hello. That's cute. Oh, hello. That's really nice. I actually do like I haven't used it since they gave it to me. So shout out to this company again for sending me out some products. I love them. Oh my God. What I'm going to do now is my little lash line. If I can find a brush for it, that'd be great. So I'm going to grab Sunkiss, which is the color that I put in the inner corner. And I'm going to grab that and put it on my lower lash line. This is the only problem with trying glitter is it literally gets everywhere. Eee! Okay, I'll try and fix that. Anyways, but that is the majority of the eyeshadow done. So I'm now going to go off camera and do the other eye and then put some lashes on and we'll do the face. I really want a peachy blush. I'm so excited. So I'm going to try and make my face kind of orangey and peachy. I don't know. I think that's going to be cool. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes, but we'll come back and I will do the face for you guys. But the eyelashes I'll be using is the Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes like always but all the products i will and have used in this video are always linked down below i'm gonna do the other eye and we'll be right back wow <laughs> i can sit here and tell you guys this is one of my favorite looks i've ever done in my life besides my base this whole makeup look is going so well my lashes were on perfectly the glitter didn't do anything my eyeliner is semi-perfect my stomach just growled i'm really happy with it i'm actually very excited but this is the look with both eyes done as you can tell i love doing orange with blue eyes because they just make my eyes stand out even more but we're gonna move on to the face now and we're gonna bronze this face up and make it all glowy and peachy and i'm so obsessed Okay, or bronzer. We're going to use Hula and we're just going to grab that on a Morphe E48, which is a dome foot brush and contour the shit out of this face because there's so much going on with the eyes. I want the face to do the exact same. I'm going to use a couple different products for my face so it's not as like similar to the last one. I'm going to try and use different products every time I do these type of videos because I feel like the eyes are going to be semi the same. Like the style is going to be different. The review part of the video is going to be the same just because I'm pretty sure it's all the same formula. They haven't changed anything. Up. Okay, moving on to bronzer. I'm going to use my Chocolate Heart by I Love Revolution. I freaking love this shit and it's so bronzy and so glowy. So I'm definitely going to use this. Like, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love this stuff so much. Ebony, I freaking love you. Okay, next blush. I'm going to use two different types of blushes. I'm going to do one now, then highlighter, then another one because I love my blush. So I'm going to use Colourpop. Now I don't really use their blushes often because they don't really blend well for me and they're not glowy. Like they're just a pure like matte blush. This is in No Vacay. It's a super shock cheek. This is the most peachy one I have. All the rest are really dark. So I'm going to grab this on the blush brush that I use. It's a, it's kind of like a contour brush, but it's not. This is the Morphe 405 and it's just so beautiful for blush. So I'm going to use this 
this. Gotta get my nose. I freaking love blush on the nose, honestly. I'm gonna put that aside for now, but that is basically that. And then I'm gonna use my highlighter. Nothing new, I'm gonna use Ofra because it's my holy grail. Okay, and then I'm going to use a smaller brush. This is just from eBay. And I'm going to do my nose. So the bridge and then the tip. And with the blush, that looks sickening. I love it. I'm also going to do my cupid's bow. I love it. I love it so much. I love highlighter. Okay, and then now I'm going to finish up the face. I'm going to use California by Benefit. It's very, very pink. And I think it's going to go really well with this when I blend everything out. So I'm going to use the exact same brush. And I'm going to glow my skin up a little bit more. It looks so cute. Ooh. Now I'm going to figure out what lipstick to wear. Like, what's the fudge I'm meant to wear with this? So I'm going to actually use a bullet lipstick today instead of a Jeffree. Just because I'm changing it up today. I'm going to use Colourpop. This is from the Disney Villains Collection. This one is Hades. And it's stunning. Why do I feel so sad? I look so good. <laughs> oh my god, I love this look. Like, you know when a look goes really, really well and you're, like, really happy with it? That's how I'm feeling right now because this look is so nice. I'm actually going to go and fix my hair. I'm going to try a new look today and hopefully it looks good. I'll come back and talk to you guys about the palette. But this is the final look. I'm really happy with it. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> I love this look. I look so cute. I'm not going to lie. I look adorable. Oh my god. I love this look. I love how it turned out. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video but my final review on this bad boy is going to be very very similar to the red one i will say the only thing really different with this one is the big ass chunky glitter in the center i don't know if you can tell but i've just kind of pressed it down but it's still a bit torn up i guess because obviously i'm constantly going in to get the glitter like i said in the other video there is fallout in the pan but there is no fallout on my face which i'm very surprised about even with the glitter there was no fallout on my face with that either i don't know if that's just because of the actual product or because of the glitter glow I used from NYX. Either way, I freaking loved it because I had my base on already. Didn't want to ruin it. I actually really do like this look. It doesn't really look like I have three different crease shade colors. Looks like I just put one in there, but I did actually blend three creases together. So hopefully you guys can actually tell because if not, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> Honestly, ColourPop is so underrated. I freaking love them so much. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do like my favorite one out of the ones I've already done. So out of this one, the red one, I prefer the orange just because I prefer the color orange on my eyeballs but if you like talking about normal colors i love red but out of the two of them i do like the orange one a bit better because there is that glittery shade whereas with the red one you didn't have a chunk of glitter or anything like that um, i'm really excited to do yellow because yellow is my favorite color so i'm really excited to get decked all out for the yellow tutorial which is coming very soon but i hope you guys enjoy this video i do prefer this look over my red one but let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the red one let me know which one you prefer this one or the red look but i hope you guys enjoy this video if you did get a thumbs up for me all my social media links and all the products i use in today's video will be linked down below like always if you're new here please subscribe make two videos for you guys every monday and thursday i'll link the previous video to this series down below i'll also leave a link down below for where you can buy the palette but that is pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did again give it a thumbs up and most spread love and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next one bye everyone